Andrew had to go for a checkup today to the doctor and his heart was racing and the doctor's like, hey, why is your heart racing? He's just like, <laughs> because silver's at $27, what we've been <laughs> talking about, and gold's at like $2,300, about to break $2,300. Hills Precious Metals Exchange is a client-focused firm devoted to assisting our clients with precious metals. Our clients range from first-time to serious coin collectors and investors seeking to add precious metals to their investment portfolios. We are not interested in volatile investments, leveraged products, and intangible assets. With rising inflation and the devaluing of the dollar hurting middle-class families, investing in gold and silver ensures protection for your hard-earned money. Save the value of your money today by investing in gold and silver at Beverly Hills Precious Metals. Good afternoon, everybody. Today, if you've been watching Precious Metals, is a very fun day. Uh, Andrew had to go for a checkup today to the doctor, and his heart was racing. And doctor's like, "Hey, why is your heart racing?" He's just like, <laughs> "Because silver's at twenty-seven dollars." What we've been talking about, and gold's at like twenty-three hundred dollars, about to break twenty-three hundred. So again, today is. April 3rd, uh, and what a pleasure. Andrew and I organized this interview yesterday because, again, I knew what was about to happen here, and we're getting some very, very exciting times. So, again, we are blessed to have Andrew Sorcini here with us of Beverly Hills Precious Metals. Welcome, Andrew. Oh, thanks, Bo. It's, uh, um, our timing couldn't have been any better for us to be on this uh, on this interview, but it's, uh, I mean, seeing gold hit um, within a dollar of 2300 an ounce when we know where it's headed is just amazing. Um, silver is at its highest point in over three years. And now we're gonna test the $29 and change point that silver made per ounce back four years ago. And we know what happens when we blow past 30. Right, and for just to help the viewers understand, okay, go back to our prior podcast of the past two years. What have we said? We said silver has a roof. So look above you, you got a roof above your head, okay? that roof. For silver is how the banks look at it, okay? They will never and have not let silver go past 25 to a range of 27, barely, for the past two years. Because every time it goes there, they all tag team and they slam it with derivative contracts to basically bring the price back down. So it's been range bound, you know, for the past, I think, two years now, between 25 to $20. And we've just been watching this yo-yo go on and on and on and on. And what have we said? The roof, 25 to $27. Gold roof was around 2200 It's already breached it. And also what we need to understand, if you study history, gold always leads. What have we said in the crypto, in my reports in relation also to crypto? There's three things you want to watch. The first, so if this is a racetrack of horses, the first thing out of the gates is Bitcoin. Well, that's happened. It's already at 60, over 60000 that's the first thing out of the gates. The second thing is gold. And the one, the last out of the gates is silver. And so what do we watch? We've literally watched gold blow, pop down to 21, went up to 22, broke 2200. Now it's, it's, it's toying with 23. And just as that's happening, finally, the sleeping giant comes to life two days ago. And silver wakes up exactly as scheduled per cycles it's the third one to move but that third one is the game changer when silver goes it will be the first one to the top which means when it's and it's not just like tomorrow or this year no no it's going to race like you've never seen before it is it is the thoroughbred of thoroughbreds when it begins to go on that racetrack so this is going to be monumental what's about to happen with the world with the world's financial system and what have we said we said in our, all of our podcasts Haggai 2 verse 8 the silver and the gold are mine say it the Lord and if you own not even one ounce of silver think about it if you don't even have one ounce of silver you you don't have any skin in the game and the question is the boy with the two fish 
five loaves. He had to have those so Jesus could multiply him and, and feed the five to 15,000, including families and kids. What I'm saying is that we need to understand we're stepping into biblical times. And if you've listened to what I say, if all my podcasts, not me, but what the Lord reveals to me is very simple. We live in not political times, but biblical times. So all of that said, we're watching the roof now being toyed with at 2300 gold, $27 silver. It's toying with the roof. And Andrew, what's happening with your phone? My phone is is ringing like uh, like you wouldn't believe. So I was at this doctor appointment earlier today. I'm there for like 40 minutes. And um, I had my phone on, on vibrate underneath my leg. And um, I didn't answer it at all. Didn't look at any texts. And the doctor's like, what the heck is going on? He's uh, he's seeing phone call after phone call after phone call. And hearing texts come in, the phone's just buzzing nonstop. And, and he knows he knows what I do. So we're talking about gold and silver. And he he's followed it over the years. And he goes, wow, what, what a time to be in this business and be involved in it. And I go, it's not just the business part of it. It's the fact that we've been able to carry the message of how gold and silver can help people and help protect their portfolios and how we could finally show people that this wasn't a sales thing. This was us trying to carry the message and show you and help people and help spread the word. And, and it's worked. I've, I've received so many thank you texts. Um, today, uh, um, there was an order. Somebody had had done like um, 500,000 worth of gold a couple, a, a few days ago when I was, when I was out of town and um, she was making the payment today. And she said, she said, I wish I got more. <laughs> and, and that's what we're all going to, going to wish because it's uh, greed is just a, a basic human emotion. It's something that uh, it's a natural way to feel, but you're, you're not going to have regrets when you get gold and silver. You're only going to wish that you had more if, when you see what's coming. That you're glad you brought that up because the love of money is the root of all evil. You see, as much as these things that are about to manifest on the world financially, this is going to be the fall. And I've always stated for like three, four years now, I know for, th for sure three years I've stated, the day you watch silver explode, and I mean explode, I mean multiplied, double, triple in price in a single day. When you see that event manifest, you're going to, you know that God, the creator of all things, is intervening on our world. Okay, but the thing of greed, it's like when people win a lottery, in a way, there's going to be many people that are going to be blessed financially, but many will consider this what's about to happen is winning a lottery because we're stepping into the greatest wealth transfer in human history. But what you need to understand of being smart or being wise, you see, when you win a lottery and you've not been educated about finance or know what wisdom is, I would say majority, I don't know the statistics on this, but probably, and I've heard, and I'm sure you can verify as well too, majority of all lottery winners within two years lose it all. Mm -hmm. That's the point I'm trying to make. It's about a transfer of wealth so that we can be blessed. I want to, def I want to define what this is about to happen. I want to define what a wealth transfer is from a biblical perspective. A biblical perspective and a wealth transfer is God will bless his chosen, his bride. It says the wealth of the sinner is stored up for the righteous. So it's a blessing so that we become blessed to be a blessing to those around us. That's what this is all about. So we've been doing podcasts for the past easy two years saying what? If what we're saying makes sense, if you truly believe that what we said about the financial system and what I know, I've stated the financial system is an utter fraud. Why? I heard that from God. He said, and it makes sense, because if you understand in the 70s when all this mess started, there was barely a billion dollars in 71, 72. Nixon takes us off the gold standard. We go from that amount of money to quadrillions. And we've said this, and I'll say it again. Andrew, if you had to count to a, to a million, it would take you 12 days not sleeping. To count to a, the amount of supply now, just a one quadrillion, but we're in the several quadrillions, that's 32 million years not sleeping. That is why the money went from a droplet to an ocean. The honest money system of the 70s turned into a fraud. The money system of the 70s turned into a fraud. 
And because it is now an utter and complete blatant fraud, my question is, do you believe in this and do you worship it? Because if you worship it, you're going to keep holding on to it really tight. But on the other side of it, if you're like, wait a second, this doesn't feel right to me. And then we've been saying that forever. If this doesn't feel right, what's going on in the world, maybe you should put your money on God. What does that mean? It means his money. Haggai 2, 8, the silver and the gold are mine, saith the Lord. What does that mean? It means that holding silver and gold is an insurance policy against the financial system and the policy makers. And you've always said it's about insurance. So expand upon the insurance concept that people can really understand, you know, why the world run, why is your phone blowing up right now? Why? Because the only reason people want to call to buy precious metals is they want an insurance policy because they're starting to get nervous about the current state of affairs in our world. Please expand. Um, for me, portfolio insurance, um, using gold and silver, um, first and foremost, is um, you're not holding all your eggs in one basket. So um, so it's still okay if you have some stocks, even though the stock market's very choppy right now. Of course, we have real estate. You, you own the home that you live in. So that's a portion of your portfolio. But people often will ask me, and these are people that aren't necessarily the most sophisticated trade um, investors, but they're people that are in a position where they can invest. And they say, Andrew, why, why is it that all my investments don't go up at the same time? And it's, it's, they're not supposed to. When the dollar is doing well, then gold and silver go down. When the dollar is not doing well, gold and silver will rise in value. And uh, right now we're probably on the brink of a recession. So this is uh, making it already so that, uh, so that people can't afford to buy homes because the, uh, the uh, interest rates are too high. So now there are more people out there renting, but it's costing more to rent than it does to buy. So the, this is a time when people get scared and they start to, to get ready like they're preparing for the winter, like winter is coming and uh, gold and silver gives them that security. And I like it because it's not part of the centralized banking system, like you just beautifully stated, is uh, is not like it was in the 70s. So it's um, it's a house of cards getting ready to come down. And that's uh, we've got the BRICS nations also uh, that are colluding to de-dollarize the entire globe. And at the same time, they're gathering up as much physical gold and probably silver too that they can get their hands on. So it's important that we do it as well. Now, let's get into more layers. Upon, I like layers, like an onion, right? You keep folding it back. You, like, you keep peeling it like, hey, wow. You know, so we've been saying, you know, precious metals are going to start to go up. What are we seeing? It's starting to happen. And, that, and why, you know, as you're pulling the layers back, what are you seeing? Well, why might that be happening? Well, if you turn the news on right now, what's the number one topic that's being blasted all over mainstream media and, all media and also social media as well, too? There's so many videos right now being talked about with what the, specifically with regards to the eclipse. Right. There's all kinds of information. No one knows really what's going to happen. Is something going to happen? You know, how does this all play out? You see, and to me, all I look at is my cycle charts and all I know is what's coming. And so if those that are going, well, you know, what could happen? No one knows how and all this is going to play out. But I do know one specific thing is that God's going to move upon the world. And I'll talk about coincidences, because there aren't any, if you've listened to my podcast. Because when God designs something, everything just happens to work out perfectly. And when something works out perfectly, people call it a coincidence. But a coincidence is nothing but, nothing but godly design. Now, let's talk about coincidences. So we're heading into next week's eclipse. Hmm. The last one out of the gates, silver is starting to rise aggressively. Hmm, that's interesting, because in the past two days, it's done almost a dollar per day. Okay. So it's warming up. We're toying with 27 right now. Hmm, that's interesting. Next week, we got the eclipse that everybody's talking about of, of what things might or could happen. Hmm, interesting. Now, let's think here. What happened in the month of April, biblically, that caused a great wealth transfer? Hmm, maybe Passover? understand it was the angel of death that showed I, i'm just telling you please don't listen to me go verify what i've studied and learned 
You can use me as a source, but always go back to the Bible. But I'm telling you, listen to this really closely. When you study Exodus, before the angel of death showed up at Passover, you had the ninth plague. You know what the ninth plague was, Andrew? Three days of darkness. Hmm. So the eclipse is coming before Passover. Hmm. That's just a coincidence, isn't it? Hmm. I think not. Then, I think it's 13 days after that, after the eclipse, you got Passover. Well, that potentially, if this plays into biblical events, Passover is where the angel of death showed up. And now this is key. The next day, Israel was freed from the grips and bondage of Pharaoh after 400 years, the day after Passover. Hmm. What a coincidence that the Mayflower landed 400 years ago. You see, there's too many coincidences that you can't say that this is nothing but godly design. So why is Andrew's phone blowing up? Because people are feeling something potentially is about to happen. And let me tell you, something is about to happen. Oh. Andrew, if they reach out to you, can they still buy precious metals? What's your availability like? Uh, are you still helping people with their 401ks and IRAs? How is that all? Um, how, what are all the pieces and all that? Oh, yeah. So first of all, we're, we're seeing something that really I've not seen before. When we see precious metals rise the way that they've risen in the recent weeks, or let's just call it from the beginning of this year to now, the premiums also rise. And for people that we haven't broken this down for before, the premium is the price of gold and silver above the, it's actually the amount above the spot value that silver and gold actually sell for. I think you could use the word carrying costs, basically between yeah. everybody getting their hands in the mix of the producers, the shipping companies, everything. There's, so there's a spot price of what actually you'll see on the internet, but then the, the actual purchase price is the spread of what you actually buy it for. And so that's the ultimate price that you will end up paying for it. And that's why you always want to watch that price. And if you can expand upon that, please, Andrew. Oh, yeah. And it's completely unavoidable. It's um, Nobody can buy gold or silver at the spot price. So sometimes we get people and they say, hey, um, why does the silver cost more than, than $27? ounce because I see that it's worth $27 an ounce right now. Why can I not get it for that? Well, there's always an amount above the price of silver that it goes for. It's unavoidable. I pay it. Everybody pays it. So it choosing the right gold and silver is really, really important. Well, right now, the premiums are just the normal premiums that we normally see. If not, they're on the lower end. So it, this isn't normal. When we see the demand that we see, the premiums go higher. I expect this to change any day now. It, um, I know this because I've, I purchase a lot of silver every single day. I bought 20,000 silver eagles last night to cover um, future sales. And um, and I can only get 10,000 of them immediately. And the other 10,000 are on two-week delay, which is quite normal. But it, it lets me know that there's starting to be some strain on the gold and silver market, which is going to raise the premiums higher. So even if the price of gold and silver didn't go up, it would it could cost more in the weeks ahead due to the premiums. So timing is of the essence and now is a good time. Now for people that have invested in gold and silver over the years and really don't have the cash to get more, or for people that have, have waited and uh, now they're ready, but really don't have um, the, a significant amount of cash or the amount that they would like to use to invest, you can use your retirement account. You can use a 401k or an IRA and roll that into a precious metals IRA. And most important, it's not a taxable event. So it, your broker or your financial advisor might tell you otherwise, but there's no taxable event when you do that. You have 60 days to take it from one retirement account product into another. It's called a rollover or a transfer. We can show you how to do it. We can have them done in less than two weeks. It's a, it's a great, great process. And it's not too late to get into gold and silver because they've got a lot of room to grow. Since we're on the topic of buying precious metals, What's the best way that people can get a hold of you to be able to purchase some precious metals? So the best way would be to go right to our website, which is bh-pm.com. And um, so you can see the homepage right there. If you either fill out the form or click on schedule consultation or first time customer start here, just uh, fill out that form. Make sure you put in your name, email address, 
how did you hear about us? Say that uh, Bo sent me and uh, or Bo Polney or Gold 2020 forecast. The notes and and questions part is the most important part because we have different specialists here at the company that cover different things. If you have an annuity and you want to know how you might be able to use that annuity to be able to invest into gold and silver, then put that in there because I, I have one person that's an expert at that. If you're interested in uh, in 401ks or IRAs that hold gold and silver, I've got a whole team that cover that. If um, if you're a newbie and need somebody that can be very patient with you and answer as many questions that you might have, then uh, then put that in there. And then the one that we get a lot are, um, Andrew, I've been investing in gold and silver for years and years and years. I, I don't need a consultation. I know exactly what I want. Could you have somebody call me? So whatever you put in there will help me get you to the right person. And right now our follow-up time is usually within 24 hours. So I, I would do that right away as well because um, it's going to change. I don't feel that the herd has come yet. We saw the herd hit back in 2011. 11, when gold hit $1,900 for the first time, silver hit $49 almost at that exact exact time. And that was herd mentality. Once the herd finds out about this and they really start to, to, to get in and, and deplete the available physical gold and silver that's out there, like Bo always says, we're going to see this go vertical and uh, it's going to be difficult for you to get and the wait times will be long. Absolutely. Now, I want to play this video because I want people to understand this is not my opinion. The point of this video is a prophetic word by the prophet Kent Christmas. Basically, if you understand prophecy, this is God speaking through Kent. And I'm telling you, Kent Christmas is a very, very anointed man. And this is precisely what I want people to understand about sitting on the fence and why it's crucial to not sit on the fence in relation to what's about to happen here. So please take the time, listen to this video, maybe listen to it twice, but this is such an important video about understanding about sitting on a fence because this is not what Andrew and I talk about. As much as we want to, we want people to hear the truth because ultimately it's free will. You have the right and the obligation to do whatever you choose because of free will. So all of this is personal choice but we at least want to give you, we want to point you in the right direction, give you the ability to make some educated or not even give you the ability to make wise choices. You don't want to make an educated choice because an educated choice would tell you to stick and stay in the stock market. That's called an educated choice, an educated choice of being of the world. But those who love Christ are to be in the world, not of the world. So I want to play this video. Listen to what God is saying through Kent. Christmas about sitting on a fence before you decide. So watch me, saith God, all that I've declared shall come to pass. Yes. Make sure, saith the Lord, that when I begin to release my blessings, that you do not miss them. Yeah. Because you rode the fence to see which side won before you chose. And I say to you, you ride the fence, say it, God, you've already chose. God says there will be many that will remember what the prophets have declared. And say, oh, if we just had one more moment. Hear me, says the Lord. I'm getting ready to stop speaking prophetic. And I'm going to fulfill it. His words are very specific. If you're sitting on the fence to see which side won. What is he saying? He's saying this is a battle, a spiritual battle between God, the creator of all things, and the creation. A battle between the creator of all things and creation. And if you're waiting on the fence to see which side won, you've already chosen because there is no battle. It's literally over. So when God intervenes upon the world, you're going to see silver and gold. But like Andrew says, what's good for gold is great for silver. And so when silver goes, you're going to see it go crazy to the upside. And why Kent was saying that was specifically because when that event happens, it's going to go off the shelves in a single day. Every 
piece of silver that you'll be able to get will be suddenly sold or the doors will close on all the vendors because they won't know what to sell it for because it's going up so fast. It's a bank killer, but the problem Andrew's going to have is his phone's going to be blowing up like as much as it's going off today. It's going to be magnitudes greater, but Andrew's going to not be able to take the calls because he doesn't know what to sell it for. So we've called it in history in our past interviews a beach day because you know he lives by the beach, but it's kind of a joke, but not a joke because the joke is when this thing happens, Andrew won't know what to sell it for. He have no clue because it's going up so quickly. Like we're just we're just beginning to see it now. And this is just a teaser. So even at $27, this is only a teaser of what's coming. And then secondly, Andrew has to replenish his inventory. Well, like he was saying earlier, like he has to wait right now. He bought 20,000 ounces of which half of them will be delivered in two weeks from now. Well, when this event goes down, all the distributors of the metal they're going to try to figure out what to even sell it to Andrew for because of what just happened. You see, what I'm saying is what just happened is a biblical intervention. That's what just happened. So that what just happened has never happened before because this will be the greatest move of God's spirit ever in the history of the world. This is the third seal of revelation. This is the greatest financial event in human history. So it's never happened before. So the point is, we're going to have to wait until the dust settles, and that's why... Kent was saying, if you haven't chosen, it's too late because when this thing goes off, it's a done deal. And then we're just going to have to see how all the dust settles. So expand upon what I've said there, if, if there's anything that I didn't cover correctly, Andrew. No, I, I love it. People think that uh, that if you're thinking about doing something, that it's either yes or no, that there are just two decisions. But not doing anything because you don't know what to do really is a third decision. And and it's okay. It's like, um, it's okay okay if you don't know what to do, but I do urge people to at least pray about it. This isn't a high pressure deal. That's It's very important that people know that um, that all we're doing is laying out the facts and we're telling you what we're doing. And um, we're not giving financial advice here. We're just saying, this is what we see happening. Would you like to join us in on this ride? Because it's going to be a good one. And, and when you look at what's happening here, um, like yesterday was a really important day in Australia because Australia is like America where they're they're trying to go cashless. So their government is trying to have them go cashless. So yesterday they had something called cash day. You can Google it. So what they told everybody to do was go, go to an ATM machine and take out as much cash as you feel like spending that day and go and pay for something with cash so that we could prove to, to the government in Australia that yes, there is a need for cash. But who knows, maybe the people that are saying go to the ATMs and take your cash out, that could actually be their government trying to draw all the cash that might be in people's sock drawers or underneath their mattresses and to, in order to, to kind of take it all away and completely go digital. But either way, there is this push and pull about physical currency. And like it or not, we are going to something digital that will be gold-backed. I don't know if it'll be one creator here in America, or, or if the BRICs are going to win, and if it will be theirs. This is going to put a strain on, on all fiat currencies because they're going to eventually become worthless. And if you want to have something that's outside of the centralized banking system, the only thing that I know of are gold and silver. And I want to have as much of it as I possibly can without straining the funds that I need to be able to buy things day to day, like food or services or gasoline for my car. You brought up some very interesting points. The point of our conversations is to tell people what I or we personally are doing. Hey, Andrew, I pick up the phone, right? Text Andrew. I would like to buy X, Y, and Z. And then Andrew puts the order in for me. We send a wire and it's a done deal. So what I'm saying is that I, my family, and I personally buy precious metals. That's what I do because my beliefs I basically put on the internet I put on you, you know, I put on the channels, be, listen to me talk. And what do I say? The system is a, the financial system turned into an utter fraud. And therefore, I'm putting my money on God. Haggai 2 8. That's all I do. You can take it for what it is. You can do whatever you want because all of the world is in a situation of this evils on the world because of free will. Understand? Adam and Eve willingly let Satan on the earth. He usurped our inheritance. He stole it all from, all from us because Adam and Eve chose to bite of the fruit or eat of the fruit. It was a choice. So what you do with yourself or your family's financial position is your choice. I know what I 
do. I have a communication with Andrew and Andrew fulfills my, my requests. And so I just talk about what I personally am doing. So I just want people to understand is that, and Andrew can vouch for the fact that I buy from him and I buy at key time points. Why? Because I use cycles, patterns. I buy critical time points because ultimately, hey, it doesn't hurt to buy it a little cheaper. But I've always said, bottom line is I don't care if I buy it at this price or a lower price because ultimately this is the key. When it goes to three digits on silver, it goes to $100, $200, $300, you won't care that you bought it for $18, $12, dollars $30. You won't care because when God intervenes upon the world, he multiplies things. So we're not going to see percentage changes. We're going to see multiplication. That is why when Kent Christmas spoke in the prophecy, he says, the blessings that I'm going to give. If you understand, you read Matthew, blessings are 30, 60, 100 fold. Those are blessings. That's what's coming. Okay. So you can't stop what's coming. All I know is that I'm just doing my best and Andrew's doing his best to what? Speak what we know is true in our heart. And hopefully people might hear and believe. But again, it's all about free will and choice. So we're at a biblical moment in time that Andrew and I have talked about for two years. The roofs are getting hit right now. One's already broken at 2200 on gold. Silver is battling at 27 When it breaks 27 I'm telling you, um, it's, it's the next target. Like you mentioned, $30, Andrew. And I agree with that one, but man... It's going to be a, such a battle, and when that thing finally goes, it's going to it's going to go biblical, and it's going to be fun to watch for those who are positioned in it. But know that this ultimately is the fall of the financial system, so it's going to be a very interesting year for those who chose to hear us but not listen. Oh, and then the CBDC—that's the other thing I wanted to mention too. Andrew brought that up, and I appreciate that because the United States. Please listen to this, whoever's listening. The United States is a nation founded under God. The BRICS nations are not. If God is with us, finish a sentence for me, who can stand against us? Okay? So, yes, we've turned, we've done some really nasty, bad things over the past 50 years, but again, we have a covenant. We are a covenant nation with God, and we've overturned Roe v. Wade. So expect to be chastised, you know, oh, United States. Oh, United States, expect to be chastised. But blessings are coming, and we're going to see historic days ahead. So fear not about bricks. Fear not about bricks. I can tell you that. So, But the bottom line is, however this plays out, if you're holding precious metals, what are you holding, Andrew? You're holding God's money. It's Maybe. God's money. You're holding um, financial security. You're holding um, um, portfolio insurance. And um, it's going to help you sleep at night. And if, if you end up with too much of it and you, you're in a jam and you need dollars, you can you can sell it right back to us. So you can sell a little bit. You can sell a lot. And we buy back every single day. So I'll say this, a couple of things, share this video because time is of the essence. This is like, we're in, East, we're in April, people. Eclipse is next week. Right after that, we got Passover. After that, we got May. May is going to be wild. So as wild as April is going to be, fasten your seatbelts for May. Uh, it All of this in the next 60 days is going to be wild, wild, wild. I don't know how it's going to play out. No one does. But I'm telling you, if you're holding God's money, regardless however the dust settles, a new financial system will rise out of the ashes. Correct me if I'm wrong, Andrew. But anytime a financial system ever historically has collapsed, on your website, you've got all the different countries of the world that have hyperinflated their money. Because before a financial system collapses, it hyperinflates its money, 
expand upon this, please. And then it drops and crashes or collapses. But before, right before it, it hyperinflates everything. And then when all that happens, it always comes back to what as the main currency or the it, unit of trade. Where does it always end up? It always goes back to gold and silver. It always does. And um, and when we see that hyperinflation, we do see gold and silver rise in value. So the hyperinflation does cost you money because your dollar buys less than it did at any time prior to that hyperinflation. So it's important. It's an important concept. So in closing, I just want to say thank you to everybody for listening. Um, share this video with your friends. Also, please hit the like and subscribe button. So we just get this video out. So hit the like, hit the subscribe button. Make sure everybody sh share this video. Andrew, in closing, any closing thoughts, any closing words? And lastly, how can people get a hold of you again? A lot of people ask me, they text me, they say, hey, Andrew, I see everything's taken off just like you guys said it would. Um, is it too late? No, it's not too late. We've got a lot of room to grow here. There's still, there's a lot out there um, that could that could actually happen. We're we're in an election year, so there's a lot of uncertainty out there. And this is a great time to have this type of portfolio insurance with hard assets. So, so definitely reach out to us through bh-pm.com. Fill out the form. Do it right away. It's um this isn't a high pressure deal, but definitely um let's begin. In the lines of communication here and and let us uh, be the person to provide you with the uh, with the knowledge in order to make an educated decision if you opt to not move forward with gold and silver that's totally fine people do come back months sometimes years later and this isn't a high pressure deal definitely do it when you're comfortable we talked about this in our last podcast you've gotten phone calls from people like you just said hey andrew is it too late and what was a funny comment that i made right after that if Andrew can still get delivery and ship it to you, it's not too late. Too late is when Andrew cannot get it or cannot sell it. That's too late because Andrew doesn't know what to do because of prices and what's happening. So if Andrew says, yes, I can deliver to you, it's not too late. Or whether it's any other dealer, whoever you go to, if you go to the dealer and the dealer says, yes, I can sell it to you, wherever you're buying it from, if he can sell it to you, it's not too too late because silver and gold particularly silver has been manipulated for listen closely hundreds of years and repeat that silver and gold particularly silver has been manipulated for generations and we're when god intervenes we're gonna see silver and gold break free from generations of price suppression. When that event happens, it's too late. That's the point of sitting on the fence because you because you wanted to see which side won. So Andrew, thanks for being here. God bless you and your family. And this is gonna be a fun week. And next week is going to be more enjoyable. And every week and every day are going to be fun to watch here as we head into May. So thank you for being here and God bless, Andrew. Thanks for having me and I hope to be back soon. Hi, this is Bo Polney. And after thousands of requests, this is my official announcement. This is a heads up and a first glimpse of what I have been working on. I have been working on a book. This book is a prophetic understanding of God's perfect timing from creation to his return. It's going to be explosive. This is the first book I've ever written, and it will explain and illustrate with beautiful full color graphics of God's timing of events into the end of the age, the end of days. After reading it, you will want to keep this beautiful book on your coffee table and share it with all of your friends and family. I'm telling you, it is amazing and you're going to love it. This book is going to open your eyes to the present day events and how they are occurring with mathematical perfection as they directly fulfill events prophesied in Revelation over 2,000 years ago. God speaks through his word. We know that he also speaks through his servants, the prophets. And yes, he does speak through numbers. If you want to see how truly perfect his timing is, and the specific calculations he has revealed to me about our future into the end of the age, 
This book has all the incredible details. Are you ready to see the cover and a glimpse of inside images? Here you go. I doubt there's a book anywhere in the world like this one. It illustrates God's perfect timing from creation to the book of Revelation, including the four horsemen of the apocalypse, the seven seals of Revelation, the great American eclipses, the coming great Egyptian eclipses, the coming aliens, yes, we talk about aliens, the rise of Antichrist and the mark of the beast, the coming rapture, and all the way to the likely timing of Christ's return, and much, much more. The mathematical calculations are beyond any human probabilities, clearly illustrating the end of days was written from the beginning by the hand of God. This book has a lot of surprises and will open your eyes as to how truly great our God is. I believe it's gonna blow your mind and get you excited and prepared for the times ahead. It'll change the way you look at recent events in the world. It'll give you the power and understanding of how long we really have into the end of days and how all things are working together for good. That's why after reading this book, you're gonna to begin to see how Revelation, like the Bible, is actually the good news as all things are manifesting in his perfect timing. So, how can you be the first to get your very own copy? Well, there's a link below this video. You can be the first to pre-order it and get it as soon as it comes out in April. And if you're one of the first 300 people to pre-order this book, you can receive a 30% discount by simply entering the code 777 at checkout. There's also a link for pre-orders on our website, so be sure to use that discount code. And yes, the book will be available on Amazon. However, no discount will be there. This is Bo Pony. I love you. Jesus loves you. And I know you will love this book. Thank you so much and God bless.